chances are that whatever you do, wherever you are, you don't have enough resources. You don't have enough staff. You don't have enough um, tools, technology. Sometimes maybe the policies and procedures are not in place. Um, you know, you feel like there's not enough investment to get everything done that you and your team are being asked to do. I was one of those people many, many years ago. I, compl not always, but I at times did complain and say, well, look, there's not enough of X, there's not enough of Y, and they want us to build, you know, towers and monuments of excellence with no investments, which sometimes is a valid statement. However, what I found to be even more true over the years is that resources follow vision. Think about that. When there's vision, they can be clearly communicated and executed. When there's leadership, when people from the business side see the value, and I'm in, on IT side, but from business, by the way, there are no sides. It's all one organization, one business. But for the sake of argument, from IT function, when people from the business side or academic side see the value in what you're doing, resources will find a way to you. Not always, maybe not as much as you would like to have, but a good portion, a good percentage of needed resources will find a way to become available suddenly when people see the value, when they see the vision that you're projecting and where you see the organization in six months, a year, two years, three years, and so on. So resources follow vision. Work on developing the vision, communicate it, make sure it's in alignment with the overall mission and purpose of the organization, and start demonstrating, start acting, start producing value now, and in time, additional resources will be made available to you to complete and fulfill that vision for the benefit of everyone on your team and the entire organization. Vision first.